Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the axillary nerve. You have to remember the nerve roots of axillary nerve. Nerve roots of axillary nerve are C5 and C6. You have to remember that. You know axillary nerve arise from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. In the axilla, this is a picture of axilla. In the axillary region, uh, this nerve is posterior to axillary artery. Here you can see this is the axillary artery. This is the lateral cord and this is the medial cord. You cannot see posterior cord here because it is posterior to the axillary artery. You can see the muscular cutaneous nerve which arises from the lateral cord. Then lateral root of median nerve, medial root of median nerve and forms median nerve. And you can see the continuation of medial cord which forms the ulnar nerve. But here you cannot see the axillary nerve because axillary nerve is posterior to the axillary artery but it is anterior to the subscapularis muscle. In the axilla it is anterior to the subscapularis muscle and posterior to the axillary artery. Also in the axilla radial nerve is a medial relation of the axillary nerve. You cannot see the radial nerve here also. Then this axillary nerve curved backwards from the lower border. This is the lower border from the lower border of the subscapularis muscle. Probably in this space axillary nerve goes backward. Then it enters into the quadrangular space. Here you can see the quadrangular space. Here this is the quadrangular space and uh, this axillary nerve has come backward from the quadrangular space. Then axillary nerve winds around the surgical neck of the humerus. This, uh, this is the surgical neck of the humerus and it winds around the surgical neck of the humerus and divide into two branches as anterior branch and posterior branch. Here from the nerve roots C5 and C6 and uh, axillary nerve arises. Then it's divided into anterior branch and posterior branch anterior branch give nerve supply to the skin over lower half of the deltoid muscle posterior branch give nerve supply to teres minor muscle teres minor muscle and upper lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm upper lateral upper lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm also both anterior branch and posterior branch give nerve supply to deltoid muscle deltoid muscle here in this picture you can see the cutaneous branches which arise from the axillary nerve here cutaneous branches here this is the nerve to teres minor muscle this is the nerve to teres minor muscle and these are the branches to deltoid muscle. Then the clinical correlation of the axillary nerve. Axillary nerve can be damaged by the shoulder dislocation. Here this axillary nerve goes around the surgical neck. Therefore in shoulder dislocation this axillary nerve can be injured. Therefore there can be motor loss as well as sensory loss. Motor loss of the deltoid muscle make weaken abduction of the shoulder joint. Also, this deltoid muscle is wasted. And because of the sensory loss, there is a small patch of anesthesia over lower half of the deltoid muscle. It is also called as polisman batch sign. You know, polisman batch is over like uh, over lower half of the deltoid muscle. Therefore, this sensory loss area is also known as policeman's patch sign. From this picture you can see uh, here normal contour of the deltoid muscle has been lost. This can be occurred due to axillary nerve damage. Here you can see normal contour of the deltoid muscle. Here you can see the normal contour of the deltoid muscle has been lost. So that's all about the axillary nerve and its clinical correlation. Thank you for watching.